Well, internet, Elon Chan has pushed humanity one step forward again. SpaceX's new Starlink satellite internet systems public beta shows that the system is capable of reaching over 160 megabits per second. This speed is faster than 95% of US internet speeds, meaning that even online gaming is possible through the Starlink internet system, just as Elon Chan has stated before. As a channel that focuses on how technology is improving our world bit by bit, I'll discuss how this technology will help humanity in one of its most crucial endeavors, providing internet access to those who are traditionally unable to access it. You see, traditionally, internet is provided through cables that require much expensive infrastructure to build. This is very costly, thus preventing these cables from being built in rural or impoverished areas. However, now these areas will be given internet access because of the generosity of Elon Chan. Although the future price of Starlink is unknown, given Elon Chan's love for low prices, it will most likely be affordable for most people in the target demographic. And this will be revolutionary. With the internet, students and adults will have access to information they would have never had otherwise. They would be able to learn skills to prepare themselves for a 21st century life when they would have otherwise been forced to inherit their parents' subsistence farming lifestyles. For instance, a child laborer in Uganda can learn digital media design and start his or her own design business. Similarly, a subsistence farmer can learn how to code Python, and in both cases, these people will be learning new skills to gain more opportunities that would have never presented themselves without internet access. However, there is one crucial drawback to this development, the possibility of orbital debris. You see, SpaceX has now deployed 900 satellites, or about one third of the world's total satellite population. That means that SpaceX's numerous satellites are at risk of colliding into one another and creating orbital debris that can destroy other satellites. If you have been watching my channel for a while, then you may know that I run a campaign against orbital debris in the form of a petition. As such, for today's video, I implore those of you who haven't signed my orbital debris cleanup petition to do so in order to ensure that humanity continues to have a future in space. The link to the petition is in the description below. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next week.